Good afternoon, dear ladies and gentlemen. Welcome from our EY Wave Space in Munich. Thank you for your invitation to the World Intelligent Connected Vehicle Conference. It's a great pleasure for me to talk to you today. I'm Matthias Bandemer from EY. I have 25 years of experience in cybersecurity consulting and I'm responsible in EMEA for automotive cybersecurity. I'm based in Munich and I've worked with large automotive companies around the globe on solving complex information security issues. EY has a global footprint in cybersecurity and in the automotive industry. We have more than 7,000 dedicated information security professionals and provide our services in more than 150 countries around the globe. We support our automotive clients to build and improve their information security, their IT security, supply chain cyber security, the vehicle IT security, manufacturing and shop floor security, as well as dealing with customer data. Together with our clients, we respond to ever-changing cybersecurity threats and make critical infrastructures resilient against cyber attacks. In the future, the car will be part of a hyper-connected ecosystem. Uh, vehicles will not only be connected to the OEM's backend systems and the cloud, automatic driving cars will also be connected to electricity providers or to car sharing companies, and also to insurance companies and of course to the customers. This will create a lot of data and needs intelligence and cloudified networks with low latencies. Yeah, 5G is the enabler for hyperconnectivity and fully cloudified intelligent networks. In the past with 4G networks, we had only one radio connection per time. Now with 5G, you have low latencies and multiple connections simultaneously. In 4G, it was a network where the machined type of traffic and the user type and user type of traffic was in one network. Now with 5G, you can slice the network into different pieces for different needs. In 4G, this was the first step to the cloud. With 5G, fully cloudified applications enable connected cars, autonomous driving and a connected driving experience for end users of the automotive industry. One of the mega trends of the future is for sure digital transformation, which is all based on new technologies like artificial intelligence, cloud computing, connectivity, IoT, or quantum computing in the future. All of those new technologies have threats associated with it, cyber threats. So that means in AI, you can poison AI models we see complex AI-driven cyber attacks recently. Um, IoT devices are vulnerable. In most cases, you cannot patch them after they have been produced. We see, of course, the rise of 5G, which I mentioned already, and a lot of connectivity and potential for threats. And also quantum computing um, will make today's encryption obsolete. So the data volumes will become unmanageable. The regulation will be becoming ever more complex and the traditional cybersecurity measures we had in place are not effective anymore. However, to enable those new business scenarios, for example, connected cars, autonomous driving and intelligence mobility, to safeguard this, cybersecurity is one of the key foundations. Many aspects of connected cars are related to IoT, the Internet of Things. So a car is a thing that can drive 200 kilometers per hour. Um, and we will see a lot of features and things that, needs, that are enabled in connected cars, like the in-vehicle experience for a driver or the passengers of the car, autonomous driving, um, which we talked about a lot, advanced navigation, um, customer engagement and insights, so you can know a lot more about your customer uh, in a connected car. Telematics and predictive services like predictive maintenance, when do you have to go to the maintenance for your car. And one important thing is of course um, OTA, over the air updates. That means you need to be able to patch a car in the future and do software updates, similar like we do in the, on an IT system or on your iPhone but it shouldn't take place uh, when the car is driving, for example. So there are a lot of security aspects to consider 
for connected cars and in the IoT environment. So you need to sec um, set up a secure production. You need to set up secure onboarding and provisioning of software, a security management system around, device authentication, data security, device integration with mobile apps, the decommissioning of cars, and also the recommissioning if the owner of a car is changing. All those things are aspects of connected cars and regulation is coming and uh, car makers have to, um, have to implement this. So incorporating security through the life cycle of connected cars is vital to tackle the threats posed by the new IoT ecosystems. IoT is a growing business. In 2018, we had 23 billion connected devices, which will grow up to 75 billion connected devices by 2025. And this is significant. From a cyber perspective, we see today that around about 25% of cyber attacks targeting IoT, but only 10% of cybersecurity budget are spent to protect IoT. So there is a mismatch. IoT attacks have grown from 12 million in 2018 to 105 million in 2019. And a connected car faces around about 300,000 attacks per month. How can we solve this issue now? So you, you need to solve it in different dimensions. First, you need to solve it on the technical layer, but you also need to solve it on the organizational layer. Um, yeah, in a, in a security concept, you need to identify the devices, so the car and what's communicating within the car, and second, also the user of the car to make sure that this is the right communication and the secured communication by the right user. On the other side, you need to uh, enforce the right policies, the access policies for the applications of the car and also the network. So the network within the car, the network between the car and the cloud, and the cloud as such. And then you need, of course, control the access to the backend. That means uh, to the applications, to the entire connectivity, to the machine learning, to the AI systems. This all needs to be secured. And this is not static, it's dynamic. So you need a security concept that can react and respond to cyber attacks in a dynamic way. Static policies are not the right mechanisms anymore. You need to find out what's happening and block malicious access immediately. This is what we need to implement in a car and also in the backend um, to the cloud and also in the networks. This is the technical component and there's an organizational component around it. Um, we see a lot of regulation upcoming, for example, the UNECE cybersecurity regulation, things like TSACs for supply chain security and also critical infrastructure protection law, which is upcoming in all uh, regions of the world. So, and to manage all of this, you need also an integrated management system because this is becoming so complex and EY can offer you a framework to put this all under one umbrella and create cybersecurity, risk management and compliance out of one single system, which has the techn technical aspects in place and also all the organizational measures and policies. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. In case you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me on the email address which is shown here. Thank you very much for your attention and enjoy the rest of the day and the conference.